Welcome to Dream Academy. In this presentation, we shall be dealing with analogies or verbal reasoning. Verbal analogy questions test the student's abilities to determine the relationship between words. Verbal analogy questions ask you to determine the relationship in a pair of words and then recognize a similar or parallel relationship in different pairs of words in order to analyze problems and to arrive at the correct answer from a given set. We have two kinds of approaches in dealing with verbal analogies. We have the single word approach and the paired word approach. In the single word approach, you are given a pair of words followed by a third word. Under them are four or five words numbered one to four or five. You are to choose from the choices a word that relates to the third word in the same way the second word in the second pair is related to the first. Now, here are some effective tactics in dealing with analogy questions. First, you have to express the relationship between the first pair of words Substitute the third word for the first and think of an appropriate substitute for the second word. Let's take this for example. Bull is to elephant as buck is to blank. This is in sentence form. Now if we will deal with the analogy questions, we shall see this sentence like this. Instead of seeing the words is to and as, you will see columns. Bull is to elephant as buck is to blank. And underneath are the choices one, deer, two, sheep, three, tiger, four, whale, and five, horse. Now, relating to bull and elephant, okay, when we relate them, you will say that bull is a male elephant now substitute the third word buck for the first which is bull in the statement so we'll say bull is a male elephant as buck is a male blank so we have to choose from the five uh, words given five choices and buck Using the relationship of the first paired words, or the first pair, we have uh, the knowledge that Bach is a male deer. Okay, so there goes your answer, Let number one. If you are stuck with one item, determine the relationship between the first and the third words. Substitute the second word for the first, and think of an appropriate substitute for the first word. Now let's take this example. Sugar is to flower as candy is to blank. Here, the most obvious relationship is between the first and the third words. Um, you might say candy is made from sugar, okay? And substituting bread for candy, it becomes clear that bread is made from flour. So from the choices, let's see if we have the word bread here. There you go, it's number three. So the answer is bread. Okay. Now, exclude choices that are grammatically wrong. We have uh, three instances, and the first one is given nouns. If you are given a pair of nouns in the first pair of words, you should have also a pair of nouns in 
your second pair of words in the context. So we will read it as noun is to noun, as noun is to blank. Now in example one, all items are nouns, so the right answer must be a noun too. You should exclude all choices that are not nouns. Let us take this as an example. Soldier is to defense, as policeman is to blank. And we are given these choices. One, fight. Two, train. Three, march. Four, traffic. Five, defend. Soldier, defense, and policeman are nouns, and we are looking for another noun. In the choices given, choice number one is a verb, number two is a verb, number three is a verb, and number five is a verb. Only number four, traffic, is a noun. So, traffic is our answer. Exclude choices that are grammatically wrong. Second instance, we have noun is to adjective as noun is to blank. So, we must have another adjective in the second pair of words. Take this as an example. The earth is spherical in shape. So, we're looking for the shape of a wheel. So let's see an example to the second word in the first pair is an adjective. Therefore, the fourth word must be an adjective. If you see a choice that is not an adjective, it must be wrong. So we see number two is not an adjective, it's wrong. Number four is not an adjective, it's wrong. So we are left with 1, 3, and 5. But thinking, knowing wheels, they are not conical in shape, they are not rectangular, they are circular in shape. So our answer is circular. And the third instance is noun is to noun as adjective is to blank. In example 3, in this instance number 3, the first pair is of nouns. Since the second pair starts with an adjective, we will find a choice that also starts with an adjective to make the analogy parallel. We will eliminate those that do not start with an adjective. So we have, for example, tamarind is to star apple as sour is to blank. So we will check the relationship between the tamarind, which is sour, okay and the taste of the star apple let's see let's look at the choices number one spicy can a star apple be spicy can it be sweet can it be purple we're looking for a taste huh? not color so number four can it be round not shape can it be huge although they are adjectives right and of course, when we refer to the taste, okay, we have to eliminate, keep on eliminating. Our answer should be sweet. Okay, so let's try to touch on the paired word approach. Each question comprises of a pair of words which are related to each other in a specific manner. After each original pair are four or five other pairs numbered one to four or Five. You'll have to choose the numbered pair of words which relates to e each other most closely in the same manner as the words in the original pair. Now let us try to see some effective tactics. First, state the relationship between the first pair of words in a good sentence. For example, patron is to support as blank is to blank. Let's look at the choices. Number one, spouse is to name. Number two, danger is to risk. Number three, seed is to flower. Number four, soldier is to loyalty. And number five, counselor is to advice. A patron provides support. The answer must also express the same relationship and stated in the same manner. As we see, number one, spouse is to name. 
Okay. A spouse provides name is close, but there is an exception to the relationship. Only the male spouse provides name to the female spouse in most societies. So the correct answer is number five. Counselor provides advice. If the stated relationship is so broad that more than one answer fits into it, look for a narrower relationship. For example, club is to golf as blank is to blank. Let's look at the choices. Number one, glove is to boxing. Number two, goal is to basketball. Number three, gun is to hunting. Number four, bat is to baseball. And number five, horse is to rider. Now, let's see. If your original sentence is a club is an equipment in golf, four of the five pairs fit the same relationship. So if we reanalyze the original pair focusing on a narrower relationship, like for example, the use of a club in golf. A club is used to strike a ball in golf, and with this relationship, all the other options except number four can be eliminated. Okay, let's try to read the analogy. Club is to golf, or a, a club is used to strike a ball in golf as a bat is used to strike a ball in baseball. So they are analogous. Club is to golf as bat is to baseball. Determine the relationship of the first pair of words, then find a pair with the same or closest relationship. Let's try to take this example. Coal is to non-metal as blank is to blank. Let's look at the choices. Number one, silver is to bracelet. Gold is to metal, number two. Number three, paper is to wood. Number four, steel is to iron. And number five, plastic is to oil. You will note that coal is a kind of non-metallic mineral. Looking at the choices, you may eliminate numbers 1, 3, 4, and 5. Silver is not a kind of bracelet. Paper is not a kind of wood. Steel is not a kind of iron. And plastic is not a kind of oil. This leaves only 2. Gold is to metal as the answer. Coal is a kind of, I mean, non-metallic non mineral as gold is a kind of metallic mineral okay now leveling up means <clears throat> taking words that are greek to you you may like never meet some analogies with greek words okay but if you do then it would be good so let's try to take an example where you really do not know the meaning of any or one or two or three of the words in the analogy. Let's take this for instance. Nomothetic is to general as blank is to blank. Suppose you do not know what nomothetic means. And you can be sure uh, you're not alone in this. We have to study all the pairs of words. You will notice that the words in the original pair are adjectives. Those in, let's see, choice number one, paranoid is to suspicious. Choice number two, candidly is to frankly. Number three, steel is to iron. Number four, courteous is to impolite. Now, let's see. Okay, let's go back to that slide. In leveling up. Now, this um, in this problem, you're given four choices, and you will notice that the words in the original pair are adjectives. Those in choice one are also adjectives. Those in two are adverbs. Those in three are nouns. 
and those in four are adjectives. So let's eliminate number two and number three choices. So we're left with numbers one and four. Now let's go back to the um, original pair, okay? Let's study the words some more, okay? Once more. You will see the choices one, two, and three are all synonymous, while those in four are opposites. So it is safe to assume that the original pair also consists of synonyms. Since you are left only with options one and four, and option four consists of opposites, your logical choice should be option one. Thus, even if you don't know one word in the original pair, you can still make a correct response. Okay, we have here some words of warning. Do not depend on guesswork as a method of answering. Use it only as your last resort. After all, they may, there may be no harm in trying. Okay, so let us take note of the following. First, we have to be sure to choose the same part of speech as that of the given pair. Two, a proper noun in your answer should match the proper noun in the given pair. Let's try an example for this instance. The old man and the sea is to Ernest Hemingway as Moby Dick is to blank. So the choices are Robert Frost, William Shakespeare, Herman Melville, Charles Dickens and Indira Gandhi. Okay, so The Old Man and the Sea is written by Ernest Hemingway and Moby Dick is written by Herman Melville. So the answer is number three. Now we have to take note also that we have to make sure that the words in each pair are in the same order. Do not change the order in which they appear in the question. Okay. Another precaution is if you cannot find a similar pair among the options, try any of the following tricks. So let's take this trick. We consider other types of relationship for clarity. You have to try using other meanings of the given words to establish their relationship. You have to repeat the pattern of the relationship of the given words. Okay. Now, in our uh, next uh, set of slides, we shall be dealing with the frequently used relationships. Okay, so once again from the Dream Academy, we'd like to thank you for choosing this channel in your revision process or reviewing process on analogies or verbal reasoning um, questions. So in the near future, you'll be able to be guided by these examples given here and the concepts as well in case you plan to take the college entrance exams from any any of the colleges or universities university admission tests or you plan to apply for a job in a company and you're given aptitude test, tests which, which include the verbal analogy questions or in case you plan to apply for a job overseas this revision concepts or review concepts on analogies will be of great help to you. So we wish you all the best in that. And in case you haven't clicked the like and share button, please do so now. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment or a question, and click the notification button below. Once again, we thank you for passing by and dropping by. 
this channel and we hope to see you soon in our future uploads in our future presentations i hope to be with you we hope to be with you in your journey to your success thank you and stay safe